All right, thank you, Tara. And joining us now is Father Thomas Reese, a Jesuit Catholic priest and senior analyst at Religion News. Father Reese, welcome. Happy Friday to you. Uh, so what do you think about this decision from the U.S. bishops? Is it what you expected? Well, it clearly indicates that a lot of bishops are unhappy with Catholic politicians who are pro-choice, and they want to do something about it. Some of them want to punish them by denying uh, communion uh, to these politicians. Whether or not that's actually going to happen still remains to be seen, because under church law, only the local bishop has the right to do that. This cannot be done on a national level by the bishops' conference. No. Uh, the Vatican sent a letter warning the American bishops not to take this step. Does that mean anything, or is it really just a warning? Well, I think it, it shows that the Vatican is very concerned about the divisions within the bishops' conference. The Vatican never likes it when the bishops are arguing in public and divided. It's kind of like uh, they're telling them, don't argue in front of the children, uh, the, to, to the parents. Uh, and so they don't like that. The second thing they don't like is that, well, if the American bishops go down this route, what does it say about the church and the rest of the world, which does not have this policy and does not have any interest in going in this direction? That would mean that Biden could be denied communion in parts of the United States, he could go to Rome and receive communion there. It's very confusing uh, mm -hmm. to have this kind of disunity in the Catholic Church. Uh, so the vote was 168 to 55 in favor of denying Biden communion. Uh, you know, the, the Catholic Church does not want to see this uh, 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 this division played out in public. But, Father Reese, is there real division within the Catholic Church? Well, first, uh, you know, I have to emphasize that the vote was not on denying uh, Biden communion. The vote was on whether or not they were going to have a document that might discuss this issue. So we're a long way from uh, uh, denying uh, Biden or any other Catholic politician communion. But I think the vote, you're absolutely right, the vote was overwhelming. Uh, most of us, e on both sides of the argument among the bishops, most of the bishops thought the vote was going to be much closer. I mean, this indicates that if all of these bishops that voted for this document are in favor of denying communion, then they've got their two-thirds vote right there. Yeah. How do you think uh, President Biden feels about this? We, you know, we heard a soundbite from him addressing a reporter. He said it's a private matter. Uh, but still, do you think that President Biden cares that the U.S. bishops voted like this? Well, I can't uh, get inside the mind of the president, but clearly this is a man who goes to church every Sunday, uh, you know, even when he was in Britain uh, for the G7 meeting. Uh, he took time to go to church on Sunday, and the local parish was really surprised they had the president of the United States in this tiny little parish in, in Britain. So uh, he, he is a man who is very devout in his uh, practice of religion. Uh, but also remember that uh, if you poll the American Catholics, the vast majority of them are against using communion as a weapon in the abortion wars or in any other uh, uh, battles, including a majority of Republican Catholics oppose using communion in this kind of weaponized way. So the bishops, if they go this direction, they're going to have to not only convince mm -hmm. the uh, Catholic politicians, they're going to have to convince the Catholic laity. Yeah. All right, Father Thomas Reese, thank you so much. Joining us from California today. We appreciate you doing that. Good to be